welcome to my next class where we are going to discuss about all these things so this is file menu edit clip sequence markers graphics and titles view window and help this is a file menu click and you can see new project you can take new file open project production open and recent project you are going to work on this project and you can open the recent project so close project all close projects and save save as save a copy of your project capture and uh, the most important thing is control i mean import your media import recent files and the most important thing is export you can export things media you can import export media motion graphics and templates you can export captions too and uh, omf markers selection as premier project avid log exchange final cut pro cut pro xml you can export each and everything get properties for file or selection project setting you can set your project i am going to tell about project setting in the next class so in this class i am not uh, discussing about the project setting uh stay tuned with me in the next class and uh, uh, i am going to tell you about project setting project man manager and exit so we are going to exit move on to the next tab and it you can undo uh, now you can see the undo redo cut copy ripple delete select all and find spelling removal unused and uh, consolidate duplicates everything each and very much things are present in this uh, edit uh, tab preferences keyboard shortcuts look at the keyboard shortcuts are present in are present there preferences you can see the preferences are very uh, much things in the presents present in the presences general appearance audio audio hardware audio safe capture and uh, control collaboration control surface device control graphics labels media memory playback timeline frame everything is present in this preferences now go to our next tab this is about the things this is about the video footage audio and uh, what we import in project and while we, these are the things uh, while we are working on the timeline uh, this is the these are all these all are active while we are working on the timeline so this is for timeline now let move on to the next this is sequence setting i already told you that i am going to uh set my sequence and i'm going to tell about the sequence settings in my next class not now so move on to the next so move on to the next render effects in or out render into out render audio and add edit add edit word text you can see some are visible and some are not visible these or are depend on our customized setting this is our cu customized setting these are customized uh these are customized ones so these are all customized where you want to work a black one these are customized this is customized setting linked selection snap in timeline show through edits and normalize mix track auto frame reframe sequence this is very important and this is very very good and we will work on uh, timeline area then i will then there i will tell you about the auto reframe se sequence this is very important sequence setting so these are all things zoom in and zoom out close gap go to gap next in sequence what is previous in previous in sequence next in track and previous in track these are the things we are going to show when you will work on uh, timeline 
So now I want to tell you about C2 sequence. Next one is markers. Click on the markers. Mark in. You can mark out. In and out. Add markers. Next marker. Go to previous marker. And all the things you can see these are customized things. When you are going to add markers, simply press one, M. M is for markers. Copy paste include sequence markers, ripple sequence markers, so all the things you can see here. Graphics and titles. You can uh, install motion graphic templates of Adobe Premiere Pro. This is for new layer. You can uh, create a new layer when we are working on the timeline. Text, it might be a text layer, vertical layer, rectangle, ellipse, polygon, or form file. And what is this? This is a select next graphics like previous graphics. Replace fonts in projects. Move on to the next. This is a view playback resolution, post resolution. This is customized so you can see only playback resolution. Window. I already told you about window in the previous previous class and the thing on where we will be going to work on. Timeline, I'm going to tell you about these workspaces. What is in help? If you want to help about Premiere Pro, you can take help. These are the tabs that we are discussing. Now we know about project panel, source panel, program panel, uh, timeline, and workspaces, different workspaces, and these all things. We already know about all these things.